hello to all of you beautiful FabFitFun viewers. Ooh, girl, we're gonna start it right now. OMG, I can't wait. It's game show time. I like this. Beauty and the Box. It's like You're winning. Good to go. Yes. 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 Time. Okay. Time. DIY made it. Love it. Get a little bit of a workout in. Just a little flirty shoulder. Cute. Kind of therapeutic. And it's a What's up? What's down? It's so cute. It's actually a drag trick too, which is really helpful. Oh, even well, better. <laughs> perfect. I can go out like this. <laughs> Open your own spa out of your apartment. I'm going to. Oh, good. I'm coming <laughs> over. Let's do it. The show starts now. Hi everyone, welcome back to FabFitFun Live. I am your host, Natalie West. Today is hump day, and we are here to get you over the hump with loads of fun and prizes. Now first up, Chloe and Talia are playing Win in 60 with one lucky caller because this is the show on Facebook where you can watch live, shop live, play live, and yes, win live. Now we know you're all excited to get your winter box. It's filled with amazing and beautiful products, but did you know that the box itself is also pretty fantastic? So we're gonna give you some adorable ideas to, to upcycle your gorgeous box. You're gonna wanna try these out, I promise you. Then we have one last winter box spoiler for you guys, and later, author of Gross Anatomy, Mara Altman, is here. And we're gonna talk about the stuff that, uh, that you really don't wanna talk about. It's gonna be good, I promise. All right, let's get the show started. Chloe and Talia, take it away. Thanks, Natalie. Hi. Hi. Okay, should we get started? Yes, yes. please. Yes, today we've got another lucky caller Yay. on the line who has a chance to walk away with some of our most coveted prizes. If you're a product junkie like me, this game is for you. Who's ready to play Win, Win in 60? 60. <laughs> okay, we have Melissa on the line from Connecticut. Hi, Melissa. We are so excited to have you as a contestant today. How are you? Good. Hi, guys. I'm Hi. so excited. Oh, my gosh. It Wait. looks like you're in your car, girl. Yeah. I am. I'm on my lunch break, and I stuck in my car to play the game. Oh, my God. I, I love <laughs> this. We're going mobile. This is such good dedication, Melissa. <laughs> okay, are I you feel like, good you're on lunch break from work, so you're like, eating in the car, multitasking, gonna play the game. You have a lot going on. I ate already. Okay, she's prepared. <laughs> okay, she's, she's got ready. Cool. Right. She's focused. Okay, I love it. Yeah. Okay, Melissa, here's how you play. It's super simple. Behind us, we have five amazing items. We will reveal them in just a minute. And over here, we have five different dollar amounts. These are the retail prices of the products. All you have to do is match the right dollar amount to the corresponding item. If you get one right, you win it. If you get them all right, we will send you all five products. Okay, our game is called Win in 60 because you'll have 60 seconds to match everything. I'll be timing you with my blinged out stopwatch. Mm -hmm. So be sure to do this as quick as possible. Okay, and at the end of 60 seconds, we'll hear this noise. <clears throat> that means time's up. Do you have any questions, Melissa? No. Oh, I don't she's think so. set. All set. She's set. Ready. She knows That's how out. it works. She's in the car. <laughs> Got your game face on. Okay. Anyone watching, you guys, that has product game, please share it. Yes. Melissa may need some help, so she'll take your guesses too. When she's done, we'll turn to your comments to see if you agree or disagree with her decisions. Okay, Melissa, it's time for us to reveal what's up for grabs. Yay, this is my favorite part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First up, we have this adorable beanie and sock duo by Jet Set Diaries. Love so it. So cute and cozy. I feel like you could really use that is out it cold? there in Connecticut. Is it cold in Connecticut? We're expecting snow tomorrow. It's 38 <gasps> right now. So you that's need a yes. this, Melissa. So this is a must have. Okay. okay. This gorgeous lipstick collection by Monica Dar. It comes with five semi matte lipsticks. We just love these colors. Oh. They're so gorgeous. Next, we have the Liner Designer by Beauty Blender. It is so helpful. This comes with a magnifying compact and an eyeliner application tool. So your eyeliner is gonna be on point. They should give this away in schools. Like every girl needs yeah, that. Yeah, like how, do, how can you do eyeliner without it? I don't I'm, know. I'm a mess. Okay, next up is our Terra Mare Rose Hip and Green Tea Nourishing Mask. 
Okay, you guys, here's this marble stone. You keep it in the freezer, and then uh, when you have the mask on, I think you put this, and you smush it on your face all around. Just get that With mask, the mask in there real deep. seeps into your pores. What a delight. That Gotta was fancy. get this. Melissa, I really want you to get that. Okay. Because I want to see how it actually works. Yeah, we want you to try it. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we have this super cute Summer and Rose poppy bag. Oh. Blush is so in right now. It's a gorgeous color, and I just love the two-tone strap. It's everything. So cute. Okay, and remember, these are your dollar amounts that you're working with. We have $89, $68, $134, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125, $125
purse, it is $68. Okay, that's all right. We're just getting started. But also, started. should make you feel better. It still wasn't the original price that you yeah. had there. Okay, exactly. great. You know? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is for this mask. This, put it in the freezer, stone mask. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> friends helping friends! That is one Your fancy mask. Your friends you. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to sneak around here. Okay, perfect. I'm going to reveal the eyeliner stuff. Here we go. Yay! Yay! Two prizes. You're killing it. Okay, the lipstick up next. Ah. Close. That's okay. Okay. That's and then okay. Last but not least, the sock and beanie. <gasps> Woo! Yay! Oh, oh my, my gosh. You got three amazing prizes. Incredible. I mean, this mask. My goodness. Wow. Okay. Melissa, did you have fun playing with us? I did. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Oh I my really gosh. <laughs> We're Perfect. so happy. Thank you so much. Enjoy you. everything you want. We had such a blast playing with you. Bye, Melissa. Bye. 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 Okay, and to all of our friends watching, you have a chance to win big later on in the show with Natalie and our daily trivia, so stay tuned. Back over to you, Natalie. Thanks, ladies. And Congratulations, Melissa. Well done. All right, we are going to jump right into our trending topics for the day. Now, first up, Alex Rod Rodriguez, also known as A-Rod, to some of you former baseball fans, he is letting go of his bachelor ways. He is selling his $6.5 million home in the Hollywood Hills. Now, this retired baseball star is packing up his things. He is moving back east and moving into a $15.3 million apartment that he bought with his girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. Now, I mean... I can't say that I blame him. If you're dating Jennifer Lopez, why on earth would you want to be on the other side of the country from her? I mean, don't you want to wake up to that beautiful face every day? I think this is a smart move on his part. And uh, excited to welcome back to New York. I'm a Yankees fan, so love this power couple there. They're amazing. All right, next up, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth sadly lost their home in the California fires. They've been ravaging our entire state but they are determined to rebuild and restore Malibu's magic. And their rep has said that they have donated $500,000 to the Malibu Foundation. These fires have been affecting our entire state and so many people have lost their homes. So I commend this giant act of kindness in line with yesterday's World Kindness Day um, that's really gonna help people restore and move forward. So thank you to the two of them, that is amazing. And lastly, on a little bit of a lighter note, season 20 bachelor Ari Leyendijk and his uh, fiance Lauren B. There were so many Laurens on that season, I just know her as Lauren B. They have announced that they are expecting their first child together. They told Us Weekly that they're so excited to start this new chapter of their lives together. The two are set to be married in January 2019 in Maui. And uh, I just found out before we went live that their baby already has an Instagram account with uh, almost 5,000 followers. So their unborn child officially has more Instagram followers than I do. I am clearly doing something wrong. So congratulations to the two of them. All right, so to the important stuff that we know you guys want. We know you are patiently waiting for your winter boxes to arrive, but once they have arrived and you're done furiously ripping through them and you're done taking photos of you and all of your products on Instagram, we see you, and you've told all of your friends how obsessed you are with FabFitFun. What are you going to do with the box? Well, lucky for you, we have three amazing DIY ideas of how to upcycle your gorgeous box. And here with me from our community team, I know you guys know these ladies. I see you on the community all the time. They are going to walk us through a few of these earth-friendly ideas. Welcome to Kendall and Jamie. Hi. Hi. Yay. I guys. am so excited to have you with me. Yeah. Now, we all happen to work in different branches of the same department and totally unplanned. <laughs> yes. All ended up in green today. <laughs> Gotta it's, love that olive green shade. Yeah. Right I mean, fall. it's the Great. perfect time of year for it. I'm so yeah. excited to have you guys here. Yeah. We're happy to be here. We've been watching all the lives kind of behind the scenes and interacting with y'all in community, and it's great to finally be here. Yay. Yeah. So, yes. yeah. All right. So let's get right into it so what brilliant ideas have you cooked up for our winter boxes these ladies are so crafty i cannot keep up i just can't all right kendall all what right. do we got 
So the first box that we have is going to be a ribbon organizer. So basically, um, obviously you're just gonna take your winter box that you guys get, but why I really wanted to do this was just because there are a lot of ribbons that I have in my house that are just all over the place, and honestly, it's such a pain. Mm -hmm. and, and a mess. Right, I and feel what's more annoying is that they start coming unraveled and all that kind of stuff. And, and then so, they get tangled together. Exactly, and so now you just have a big mess of ribbons, and honestly, you just really don't know what to do with them. So what we made here is the perfect just answer to that question. Love this. Um, so what we did here was all we did was take your box. Um, I have two um, bottle, two liter bottle caps, and all I did was hot glue gum them to the middle, so you can see right Crafty. there. Um, and then the best part is I took a uh, a plastic hanger, and I just cut the bottom part of it, and I use that as the little dowel that goes in the middle. And then all you do is you string all of your ribbons through that, and you're going to hook it there. But what you can notice here is that I did cut the ends um, because if you do want to close your box, it has Smart. to close a little. Yeah, so all you do is just cut it just a little so you have about, I don't know, is that maybe an inch, two inches? Inch and a half, yeah. I'm not yeah. good with math. And you're just <laughs> going to cut that me. with um, a razor blade or scissors. It's up to you. Be safe. Um, the there. best <laughs> part is to keep the ribbons on, all you're going to do is take a little bit of two sided tape. I had dress tape available, so. Um, I mean, you can really use any regular two-sided tape, but it's awesome because you're just going to put it right along right there. Oh, so cute. And then all you do is you can take the ribbon off, on, and you can see here, all you have to do is unravel. Boom. Look at that. Cut it, and then stick it back on. Ugh. And the best part about this is, is if the tape starts to get unsticked, um, all you have to do is just put another piece put of tape on, or you can do two lines so that you can even put more. You can put a second oh. line here, but it's up to you, honestly. This it's, is so smart. It's so helpful because you just really, I mean, I hate when all my ribbons are tangled and now it's like a mess and they're all like crinkled and it's just a disaster. Mine so, live in my yeah. coat closet, which I'm pretty sure is not what you're supposed to do <laughs> yeah. with them. Well, right. and the worst part too is like, you don't ever think of ribbon storage. Right. And also, like, no. it just, then you, you just buy more and you don't need it, you know. Exactly. And then you find a bunch of ribbon that's all crinkled up somewhere else. Let's yeah, see, we've got good. some ideas from our viewers on how Ooh. they use their boxes. Now, Christine Down says, I'm using them to wrap Christmas gifts. That's smart. Right. I mean, yes. especially this winter box is so stinking I mean, cute. it looks like I it's already wrapped. So it does. You, you can throw a ribbon it. on it and you're good to go. Yep. Awesome. Uh, Lisa Mitchell Parker says she uses her boxes to give presents, often full of FFF stuff. Yes, as you should. Love that. Uh, Corey Clark says, I use mine for my nail stuff. Oh, so genius. smart. Like yeah. a nail box. Yeah. Your nail polishes, remover, right. some cotton pads. We all know we have way too much so of that smart. stuff. So smart. Put it all in there. Uh, Andrea Peterson uses the box as workout gear storage, craft storage, and for game controllers. Wow. Smart. Separated. Very I love smart. that. Yeah. Uh, a lot of ladies are already loving this idea. Oh, this is yes. such a smart idea. My mom would love this, says Nicole Estegarbia. I hope I said that right, Nicole. <laughs> and let's see, Kim Fiedler. Such a good Perfect. idea. Right here. Love that. Love it. All right, brilliant. All right, Jamie, All what right. do we got? Yes. So, yes. another one of our holiday um, just take a box cutter or um you know an exacto knife or scissors i would be careful with scissors though you know cardboard's a little thick so just kind of open the box flat you know kind of it, it's all about trial and error you know really just kind of making sure it's the right size taking a piece right. putting it in if it's not the right size literally just cut a small piece off i mean well, this can be done in box cardboard too is that I mean, the add-on boxes are massive, especially if you get a lot of add-ons. Yes. But you have you have a lot of room to work with, and mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. If you do mess up, don't worry, just try again. Right, yeah. and these boxes are so durable that they really will protect the ornaments. I yeah. mean, this is a sturdy box. They can take a lot. Oh, they yeah. They can take a lot. <laughs> I know, for sure. Um, but yeah, and, and for me personally, like, I, I'm not one to measure things. You, you can really, I mean, you could break out a tape measure and whatever, but I, I really just like to do trial and error. So I, I really just stuck them in there, had to cut a few inches off here and there and um, yeah just threw it in and I also um, just to add a little color I just threw some white paint on it. Of um, course you did. Just Jamie to, is quite gotta the make artist. It, gotta make you know, it pretty. So. Just, uh, and um, really what I, because um, on the community I do a DIY post every Tuesday. Um, and Check it out if you haven't already. <laughs> yes. um, what I really like to emphasize too is just reusing the items that you already have. Like don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff. You don't need to go buy new cardboard. You have it from the add-on boxes yep. and like Kendall's with the dress tape. You already have it. You have a hanger. Um, it's really, you know, 
saving that money yeah. for more add-ons. Using pocket. what you yeah. have. And it yeah. looks so. like with these, you could maybe put down a layer of either bubble wrap or kind of crinkle paper or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe the crinkle paper you get in your box exactly. yeah, and put another <laughs> layer of ornaments on top and really just fill this thing up and yeah. keep everything yeah. nice and compact. And I think what's cool about this too is you can really design what you want by the size of the ornaments you want. I mean, right. these ones are just the regular size ones right. you get, but honestly, if you have so the bigger ones or you have specialty ones, you can really decide how big you want to cut them. And it's just, I mean, that's just definitely a, so useful. It's all about trial and error. Just whatever you have, make it work. Uh, so. Gina Politti loves this idea for ornaments. Uh, so does Carolyn Scanlon. Now, Angela Barry Wade says she hides candy from her kids in her Fabbit Fun boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do that for me. That's <laughs> incredible. Uh, Amanda Story says she is totally using it for ornaments now. Great idea. Um, yes. yes. Thanks, Amanda. And Kathy Ann says you could use the separators in a wine box for easy dividers. That's smart because a lot of times smart. if you get a box of wine. Oh, yeah. They're already yeah. pre cut. You Love that. Them in there. Yeah. You, guys, so. you guys are so smart. Yeah. All right. Well, I am. I'm not quite as crafty and I don't have the DIY gene like the two of these ones do, but I have a trick or two of my own. So. <laughs> As you can see here, I made two cute little shoe organizers. Love it. So all you really have to do for this is take a box cutter, a knife, again, please be careful, and just cut out a little window into the front of your box, insert the pair of shoes, and this way it just keeps them much more organized. You don't have to pile your shoes on top of each other. It may, uh, might help with you know collecting dust right now. I just kind of have rows of shoes lined yeah. up against yeah. my bedroom wall. <laughs> which again is not ideal and takes up far too much space and yeah. this is just so much cuter mm -hmm. and almost looks like a cute little presentation of your shoes. You can see exactly what they are so it's not like you yeah. have to dig around and find them. Right. You can see them right here. So yeah. this is my crafty <laughs> idea <laughs> well, of what I do with my boxes. Right. Exactly and you know we all spend so much on shoes that That's you know true. it's a great way to display them and I need to now upgrade my shoe game because I'm not yep. putting my dirty sandals in this. So. Or kind of I new mean, shoes. New shoes. <laughs> or I feel like you could probably put maybe like tissue paper or something down at the bottom to put the shoe yeah. on so you don't but ruin I mean, the box. I have so many boxes just from, you know, be working at FabFitFun for a year and also obviously buying extra boxes that I have so many stacked up in my house. So yeah. why not use them either um, with this especially, you know, you can do it per season. So you can do your seasonal shoes in there. You oh, can do your smart. fall shoes, your summer shoes, your winter shoes. And so you yeah. can really, um, you know, just decide like what shoes are coordinated with what. So this is why she has the community because she has all the ideas. Kendall is the seasonal queen. The community yes. room in our office upstairs is already, it's just Christmas. There yes. is a mini Christmas tree. There is. Fully decorated with ornaments. Yesterday, were they apple cider donuts that you made? I, yeah, yes. I made apple cider donuts for the Legitimately, team. Legitimately, <laughs> I think possibly the best donut I have ever had in my life. I will second that. I mean, it's bad. I mean, these two, and it's this famous. one is an insane artist. So, yes. I mean, yeah. you guys you are in good hands on the community. <laughs> they are DIY geniuses. So, I, I just try and keep up. Yes. Or I just take all but, of your I stuff mean, and enjoy it for myself. You. Yeah, that's you. why I make you donuts. <laughs> She's keeping us ready for the holidays. Yes. All right. Yeah. So up. now it is your turn out there. Upcycle your winter box and send us a photo. We would love to see some of your creations and show them off on our next live show. Thank you, Kendall and Jamie, Thank for sharing you so your much. DIY yeah. tips with us. Yes. Now, I am not going to try and replicate what you did, so I'm just going to keep these for myself. Go for it. Okay, Go for thanks. It. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> these are mine now. Okay, mine. All right. I am so excited. We have got more winter box spoilers for you. And I am in love with these three products that members were able to choose from. Plus, for all of you who chose the bear paw headband, we have four different ways that you can wear it. So let's take a look.
Hi everyone, I'm Brooke Burke and I'm so excited to be working with FabFitFun. I feel like there's so much synergy between the FabFitFun community and the Brooke Burke Body community. It's a group of powerful, like-minded women and I'm so excited to be able to connect. I feel like taking care of me allows me to be a better partner, a better businesswoman, a better mom. Um, I certainly have more energy and it's one of the most valuable investments that I have learned. It's investing in yourself and I'm able to do everything else much better because of it. Confidence and beauty to me um, comes from a deep place within. I think I feel my best probably in the wee hours of the morning when I'm in the privacy of my own home, in my most natural state, surrounded by my loving family. I'm super excited about the BB body sliders because they're so dynamic, which means we get to work multiple body parts at the same time, and there's so many different exercises that we can do to slim the legs and tone the arms. I absolutely love this program. I try to up my cardio. I tell everyone if you're not sweating, you're not working out hard enough. I drink more water than wine, and um, I balance it out with just upping my self-care. Happy holidays, everyone, and remember this season to find your cozy. Hi, I'm Orlando Soria, and today I'm gonna to show you three totally different ways to style the chic and tonic I'll Coast of That or Coaster Set coming in your winter box from FabFitFun. The coffee table is clearly the most natural place to use a coaster. Here, I've used a tray to corral the coasters and create an extra layer. The great thing about these coasters is that they add some warmth to the coffee tablescape. These Chic and Tonic coasters are extremely versatile. You can use them in a number of different styles. Here, we're using them with a beautiful blue and white color scheme with a bunch of candles and a lot of beautiful natural elements like pine cones and greenery. There's a few great ways to elevate your holiday bar cart so that it looks more festive than it does during the rest of the year. I like to add metallics. I like to add beautiful garnishes people can add to their drinks. And one of the biggest necessities for a holiday party where people are putting drinks everywhere are beautiful coasters. There you have it. Three different ways you can use these chic and tonic coasters to completely restyle your holidays. Okay, this is a tough category for me because I am obsessed with all three of these. So let's start with the Brooke Burke sliders. Sliders are such an incredible tool for an at-home workout because you can do lower body, you can do upper body. There are so many great things you can do with these um, on a wooden surface, on a carpeted surface. They really are a great tool to use at home. Um, and I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of videos for you guys to follow along with using these, giving you some great ideas if you maybe don't know what to do with them already. But love these, you can travel with these, throw them in a suitcase, get a workout in in your hotel room. So these are amazing for the girl on the go. Then, for the few of you that were able to get your hands on the Chic and Tonic coasters, these puppies went fast. They're just so adorable and are such a nice little touch, especially around the holiday season on a, a nicely setted table. I don't really know how to do that, but I'm sure some of you do. It just makes everything a little more festive. They're so cute, they're nice and sturdy and thick. Love these, they come in a set of four. Super cute. And lastly, what I chose, the Bite Beauty lipstick in Meringue. Now I've been wearing Bite Beauty for years. I am in love with this brand. All of the ingredients they use are incredibly natural. They're all fresh ingredients. They're super pigmented and creamy. They do not dry out your lips. So this color is in meringue. So I'll throw a little swatch on here for you guys, why not? And it just goes on so easily. This is such a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, truly have been wearing Bite Beauty for years. So I was very excited about this. And this is what I went for. All right. Now this next segment is for all of you ladies, uh, even if you guys don't want to admit it, 
we are all human here, which means that we are all occasionally really, really gross. We are joined today by author Mara Altman, who thinks that instead of hiding it, we should celebrate, or at the very least, acknowledge what makes us, us. I read your book. I have a few questions before I finish my review. Bioactive cactus water? Yes, please. Is your restroom? Six door on the left, after the second foyer. Are you wet? Nope. Okay. I think I am all set. Great. This was fun. <laughs> I low-key wish I had thought of that on so many different occasions where I had no idea what to do with my sweat stains. And joining me now in her third shirt of the day is author of Gross Anatomy, Dispatches from the Front and the Back, Mara Altman. Thank you so much for being here today. We are very excited about this. I feel like you speak my language, and you cover so many topics in this book, from sweat to breast size to body hair. So what was your inspiration behind writing this? I was sick of feeling shame about parts of our body that are like 100% natural. And even, out of our control. Yeah, and normal. And so I decided to investigate why we've begun to vilify them and try and figure out new ways to appreciate it. I love that so much. Yeah. Now, why do you think that hair below the eyebrows is considered totally unacceptable for women? It's a very good way to say it. <laughs> below like, the eyebrows. Just, yeah, everything. <laughs> um, well, up to like 100 years ago, in the early 1900s, women in the States were actually hairy. Like we had hairy legs, we had hairy armpits, we did all the hair stuff, um, and then there was a razor company that wanted to sell razors, and they started linking hairiness to being gross, dirty, unappealing, masculine. Oh, I don't like these people. You couldn't get dates when you were hairy. You'd be home alone when you were hairy. Um, and it really took off. I mean, it's very complicated, too. Like, why did that message speak to women? Like, that's something we don't really yeah, clearly it know. caught on. It caught on to the point where, you know, when I was researching it and I spent a lot of time thinking about hair, I realized that it had like been ingrained so much into me that um, that to me it felt like in order to be a complete woman, I felt like I had to get rid of a part of Ugh. myself, which is really complicated. Yeah, kind of. incredibly. Yeah. Oh my God, well, I am not a fan of whoever started that razor company. All right, so has writing this book changed your perspective on your own body hair? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, I used to be very, like have a lot of shame, anxiety about being found out. It was kind of like a secretive thing. It would be black ops in the bathroom in the morning <laughs> with the tweezers. Um, I'd tear up my appointment cards to laser so that like my husband wouldn't find them. Um, but then when I, more than like talking to all the researchers and anthropologists, historians, was like talking to other women, like the sisterhood of goatee, you know, that they all have, so many women have chin hairs, for example, which is like my Oh, yeah. That was the hardest part for me, the chin hair, for some reason. Have like, you I could, embraced the chin hair now? I wouldn't say that I've embraced it, but I, I'm not living in fear of it. Mm. I still remove it, but it's because I want to, not because, like, I'm, I'm so scared. Oh. Yeah, so, so I'd say that intention behind the action is very different, so I feel like I could be more present in my life rather than, like, wondering if the cashier is like, I see that. I see that hair. I you love know? that. Yeah. Oh, God. So, now... I've, I've read some 
some interesting things in your book about your parents and kind of the home you grew up in. So what was it like growing up in a home that really embraced hair? Well, I thought it was normal until like I went to school and I found out it wasn't normal. So, you know, my mom had hairy armpits and she had hairy legs and, um, you know, like she'd come to the playground and she'd be like, hey, Mara, come on, come on, you know, in like Just. tank top. And I'd be like, mom, like, you know, you could, there's other ways to wave, <laughs> you could do this. But it was really this kind of conflict between do I want to like fail my parents and let them down and like not be hairy or be called the gross hairy girl at right. school. And so I decided not to be the gross hairy girl at school. My parents were a little disappointed, but like they helped me out a little figuring out how to use a razor. It was not clear to my mom how to do yes, that. Yes, that passage was adorable. <laughs> Neither of you had any idea yeah, how like to you go just, about it. I guess you just go you up. You just go yeah. up? Yeah. Like it doesn't, you don't turn into a bloody mess with a razor <laughs> on your leg. It was very confusing. But, um, but I think that's actually what like began the like idea of the book. Like that early on is kind of, it wasn't just, yeah, of course you shave. It was a question to me. and. I think all of our practices with our bodies and our views toward our bodies, like it's something that I questioned. Why do we do that? Right. What's better than the other? Is there something that's better than the other way? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even think I thought about it. My mom always waxed her legs, mm. so that was what I did, I think, starting when I was 13. Yeah. No one else I knew who was 13 was waxing their legs, but that's what that's my mom did. Advanced. And that's kind of what I thought was the norm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Mom. I have almost hairless <laughs> legs now because I've been waxing them for got a long time now, I'm not gonna do that math. But anyway, <laughs> in your book you mentioned that you recruited a surrogate plucker. Yes. So uh, what exactly does that job entail? Yeah, so a surrogate plucker, I thought I was alone on this, but it's like if you're ever rendered in a place where you cannot pluck yourself, mm -hmm. it's like an emergency plucker. So like if, you're, if you get dementia, if you get into a coma accident, you know, your both arms are broken, this person, yeah, they come in before family and friends, and they are to remove the goatee, and um, and then it's all still, you know, a secret. That is incredible. Yeah, and then so the cool thing about that was when I started talking to people, like so many people have emergency contact plucker. I've done it for my mom on several occasions. When there's one she can't quite locate herself, she's had yeah, me get in there, and I know it's they're fair. always in this region somewhere. I feel it, but there was yeah. a rogue one for me that just like will randomly sprout out legitimately of the middle of my neck. You never know when. You never know when. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, so <laughs> we have set up a really fun game, but before we get to that, I have one final and incredibly inc important question. Yeah. It's an important question yeah, for yeah. you. Will you be my friend? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Done. All right, awesome. <laughs> now that that's squared away, we are going to get to the game now. Now, it is called Never Have I Ever. I'm sure you guys are familiar with probably a different version of this game. Mm -hmm. So today we are playing the gross anatomy theme. Now, I did not create these questions. My producers did. So we are both being put on the spot here a little bit. And we're going to take turns reading the questions aloud. And if we've done it, we will grab a paper chin hair from this lovely bucket of paper chin hairs. I love them. And at the end, we're going to tally up the questions. And whoever has the most chin hairs wins or loses, it's sort of unclear. <laughs> we got it. We understood. It. Yeah. All right, great. Here we go. Let's do this. All right, number one. Never have I ever had a zit inside of my nose. Of course I've had I, a yeah, zit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had glue to just, anyway, okay. Okay, oh, me. Um, never have I ever pretended to reach for something but really sniffed my armpit. Oh, a hundred percent. I've also done like the nose scratch but like secretly smelled my armpit. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. All right, uh, never have I ever gotten extremely excited when removing a particularly long ingrown hair. A thousand it's percent, best. yes. It's the most satisfying. I have a couple of moments where I just like replay them in my head, like from <laughs> my past. It's like extra good, good ones. One. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> um, never have I ever gone longer than a week without showering. I have not. Ditto. I'm into the shower. When you're I, this gross, you got to. That's, I, I am far too sweaty to not <laughs> shower. All right. Uh, let's see. Never have I ever shaved my face with a razor. I actually have not. I've, I've got, been thinking about I've it for a long time. I've got one in my bag time. just in case. I was like, I could go to the bathroom if I find a rogue one. Just, I've been thinking yeah. about it. We'll see. There's other ways. I know. It makes me nervous for some reason. Yeah, I'm not but. sure it's like the, first, like the best way. Well, there's, I mean, for everyone, there's a different way. Right. 
but it's like one of the things, one of the tools. I might try it out. Yeah. Right, <laughs> what's next? Um, never have I ever shook someone's hand and had to lie about why my hand was wet. No, actually. I don't have particularly sweaty hands, I, I don't think. Right. Whenever they've been wet, like after a bathroom wash, they You're were like, genuinely wet because okay. I washed them. I think All I right. shook a couple people's hands here and they were like, <laughs> oh! I just washed them. They're clean, I swear. <laughs> All right, let's see. Never have I ever had lice as an adult. I have never had lice. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> um, Never have I ever had a dandruff flake that could have passed for a corn flake. A corn flake? No. Like, yeah. Not, no. Definitely not. Me neither. I, w I mean, it happens. It does happen. Yeah. It's natural. Uh, never have I ever pulled food out of my bra. Oh, yeah. So many pieces of food. Not that I put it there on purpose, but I've 1,000% dropped stuff down my shirt and then fished it out of my bra and then ate it anyway. It's the best. It's, it's like snack time. <laughs> it's not for now. It's for later. Yeah. You got to save it. It's great. All right, the results are in, so let's see. Mm. Let's tally them up. Mm -hmm. One, two, I think you beat me. I've got four. Five. <laughs> the winner of the gross anatomy, never have I ever challenged, is Mara with five chin hairs. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. and or condolences. I don't really know who wins or loses I in this proud. game. I feel proud. You should feel proud. Yeah. All right, so mm. thank you so much for joining us today, Mara. It was Wonderful to talk with you and share all of these embarrassing secrets forever with everyone on our Facebook Live. Thank you They're, for having me. I feel like they weren't too terribly embarrassing. No, I thought, I mean, yeah. it's the message. It's good. That's true. Now, speaking of the message, be sure to pick up a copy of Mara's hilarious yet very, very informative book. You can find it on Amazon or at your local bookstore. Those do still exist. <laughs> also, we are giving away five copies of Gross Anatomy right now. And all you have to do is like this video and use hashtag giveaway to enter, and the winners will be selected randomly tomorrow. So get to hashtagging. All right, so we have just played a game, and now it's time for you, our wonderful viewers, to play a game too. Mara, will you join me for daily trivia? I will. Let's I would love do to. Let's do it. All right, let's spin that wheel. Here we go. Now, we promised you guys one more chance to win on our live show, and guess what? It is time, so everyone get ready, and here is how this works. We are going to ask one trivia question, and the first three people to answer correctly on our Facebook page win. Now, as always, before we ask the question, our legal team needs to share some very important information. Mom. Mom, I can't talk about this right now. Mom, no. I am a high-powered lawyer. I just don't have time for these things. Mom, no. Goodbye. I may not have time for her, but I'll always have time for you. I'm here to remind you today that even though your comments may appear first on your Facebook page, doesn't mean that you've won. The winner is the person whose Facebook comments appears first on our page. That's what matters. Not like my mom. Elliot is so sassy. And side note, if you have not watched him walk in high heels yet, you need to watch yesterday's live. All right, Mara, will you please read the question? I'd be happy to, yes. Um, this hair removal product was introduced in the 1940s and used a lotion base to remove unwanted body hair. What is the name of it? All right, let's hear that one more time. This hair removal product was introduced in the 1940s and used a lotion base to remove unwanted body hair. What is the name of it? All right, now get to typing, everyone. Remember, it is the first three people who get it right on the FabFitFun Facebook feed who win. Now, people are loving Elliot in our legal video. We made our lawyer, Elliot, prance around in high heels through an obstacle course yesterday. Oh my he is a very good sport. <laughs> All right, so we've got some guesses coming in. We have waxing shaving cream, conditioner. These are some good guesses. Razor. All right, I'm going to give you guys a couple hints while you're guessing. First hint is it smelled horrible. It still does. Um, we're still getting a lot for waxing, shaving cream. All right, another clue is who wears short shorts? If you've been watching TV for a long time, you know that one. It also came in a signature pink box. 
I think you guys have got it. A lot for Razer. But it looks like we have our winners. All right, Mara, will you reveal what the product is? Nair. Nair! Woo! Now, I've never actually used the lotion version of Nair, but they do have these pre-wax strips in existence now that I do use on myself. Good. Yeah, they're good. Nice. They're easy to use. All right, anyway, <laughs> our producers have found our winners. So congratulations to Sarah Reckley, Ray Pilo, and Dana Michaels. Woo! Nice job, everyone. All right, now for my favorite part. You get to spin our beautiful prize Yay. wheel. Yes. All right. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Ugh. A free Fab Fit Fun Box! Yay! <laughs> I sneeze. Well done with that. All right, that is our show for you today. Thank you so much for joining us these past two weeks for Fab Fit Fun Live. We've had an absolute blast being a part of your day. And we will be back on the air soon, just in time for our winter edit sale. So we'll see you soon. Happy holidays, everyone. Thanks again, Mara. Thank you. Bye, guys.